Hey, so today I'm super excited to show you how to find expired domains using my now favorite tool, Spamzilla. So make sure you watch until the end because I'll show you A, how to leverage expired domains to improve your Google rankings, and B, how to vet expired domains the right way. So what is Spamzilla? Spamzilla is a tool that helps you find and qualify expired and dropped domains. You can use these domains for SEO purposes or for building niche websites. Now, there are a few ways to leverage expired domains for SEO. First, you can acquire the expired domain and 301 redirect it to your website. Now, there are a few different ways to execute this. You can do a straight 301 redirect to the homepage, and I only recommend this method if the domain is hyper relevant. The second method is to create a page on your website dedicated to the topic of the expired domain. You would then 301 redirect the domain to the new page. And the goal of doing either of these methods is to grow your site's authority at a rapid pace. And you might be wondering how so? Well, because you're acquiring all the backlinks that the expired domain already built. I actually call this method the merger technique. And you can also use expired domains to build a network of websites that link to yours. This is called a private blog network and it does come with substantial risk. Now, I won't cover PBNs here, but it's worth mentioning if you're willing to take on more risk. So here's how to use Spamzilla to find expired domains. Now, using a tool like Spamzilla is only the first phase of the expired domain acquisition process. And the reason to even use such a tool is to streamline our efforts. For example, you could use a free tool like expireddomains.net, but they don't have an efficient way to filter through thousands of expired domains. Spamzilla does. So here's how to begin your research. Step one, integrate Ahrefs. So if you have an Ahrefs account, I highly recommend you integrate it. Step two, set your filters. Leveraging the filters will save you hours of time. So just click the filter button and I uncheck all country TLDs because it can be difficult to register domains when you aren't located in the host country and you'll need to adjust based on your location. Now for the Majestic and Ahrefs filters, I recommend setting TF from 10 Ahrefs DR from 10 and domains from 10. Now these are just baseline filters, but you may need to adjust downward or upward. And then step three is to start researching. So the first type of domain I analyze are drop domains. Under the expires column, you'll see available. This means that you can go to any registrar like GoDaddy or Namecheap and register the domain. And that also means that you won't need to go into a bidding war through auctions. Now keep in mind, these domains are often available for a reason. But that said, it's a good place to start because there are some diamonds in the rough that you can pick up. But before I go any further, how do you qualify or disqualify domains? Now I've covered this process extensively in my expired domains guide that I'll have below this video. However, I'll cover some important points here. Just go through this process in this order for every single domain. Number one, look for relevant. So finding relevant domains with link profiles that are relevant to your target site is absolutely critical. Now, fortunately, you can use Majestic's topical trust flow metrics that are integrated within Spamzilla. So just scan the Majestic topics column to identify relevant opportunities. And you can also set a filter so you only see relevant opportunities as well. So number two, examine the link profile. So once you've found a relevant opportunity, you need to examine the link profile of that domain. And you can do this natively within Spamzilla by clicking see more data under the SZ score, which is the Spamzilla score column. Then just click on the backlinks tab and you'll see the link profile according to Majestic. I also recommend running the domain through Ahrefs as well as a cross check. So what are you looking for when you examine the link profile? Well, in short, you want the domain to have a natural link profile with the majority of the links being editorial in nature. That means if the link profile is full of directory links, it's not a good opportunity. However, if the link profile has links from the New York Times, you should get excited. Now, one way to identify quality links in the profile is to filter and sort the links in Ahrefs. Just choose do follow from the dropdown and then sort the links by DR so that the highest authority links are at the top of the list. Now, one other factor to consider is the anchor text profile. So the anchor text profile should be unoptimized, meaning that it shouldn't be full of exact match anchor text or foreign language anchors. So number three is you need to audit the history. So once the domain has passed the relevance and link profile audit, 
it's time to examine the domain's history. In short, you wanna make sure that it hasn't been used for spam or SEO purposes in the past. So while you're in Spamzilla, click on archive. This will show you how the domain has been used throughout its history. And if you see anything that doesn't align with the domain's original purpose, you should be skeptical. You should look for inconsistencies and if everything looks good, then move on to the next step. So number four is to see if the domain is indexed. So it's ideal if the domain is indexed in Google, but it's not always a necessity. For example, sometimes domains get removed from Google's index if they were previously redirected, have been out of commission, or have blocked Google's crawlers. Now those are all acceptable reasons. However, an unacceptable reason is that the domain was removed because it's been used for spam. Now, fortunately, the previous steps should have helped you identify any signals of spam. So to see if the domain is indexed, click on the index tab inside Spamzilla. If it's indexed, you're good to go. If it isn't, you may wanna continue your investigation further. Now, I do recommend reading my expired domains guide below this video for further qualification guidance. So here's the deal. You need to take qualification incredibly seriously. Treat these expired domains as if you were acquiring them as a real business. In this case, you should use extreme due diligence to make sure it's a good opportunity. Do not speed through the process. The goal is to be 100% sure before investing in any expired domain. So the truth is I've tested every expired domain tool on the market, such as DomCop, expireddomains.net, and even FreshDrop. None of these tools are as comprehensive and as deep as Spamzilla. To me, it's clear that Spamzilla was developed by someone with a strong SEO background because of the nuances I've seen in the tool. It's truly impressive and I'll continue to use it now and into the future. So I'll have a link in the description below this video so you can try Spamzilla for free. So thank you so much for watching and please like this video and subscribe because I'll be publishing more SEO training videos soon. I'll see you in the next video.